How's it going everyone? Welcome to another episode of Upbuild. So on this one we're going to carry on work on our 205 GTI uh, track car build and we're going to finish off fabricating our roll cage mountain feet. Uh, we'll fully get them welded up and then uh, we'll carry on with some other stuff. So we'll, we'll crack on with that now. One of the front ones done. Let's give you a bit closer look at that. So now, just another two of those. One for that front, one for that corner there. So I'll show you the template switch I can just reverse. Right, so that one made. Um, there's the template that I used uh, to make that one. Um, so that would just put that fit in there where that is. Um, and the beauty I was saying with those templates is um, just pop that bit off the top and I can just reverse it. Um, so now it'll fit nice and easy in this corner. And just check to see if there's any trimming needed, but it's probably going to fit pretty well in there. A little bit come off, but I can just, you know, get it close with, the, with that template. And a little bit of um, linishing around the edges, and I'll get it in shape. And the same uh, with that one from this corner on the back there. Show made. So same again. I can just reverse that template um, and uh, there we go. There's one I made earlier. <laughs> so that fits in there nice and neat. And then. Um, they're perfect level. I've had the spirit level on them. The sit rig level. There's the, the back one. There we go. That's all four mounts made up. Two at the front. for the rear or for the, the main hoop um, there we go so next step is what I'll do is I'll just go and I'll fully weld them up um, and then I'll get them tacked in the car but that's great happy with them so that's get those welded up now and then we can think about the next step which is going to be 
sort of trying to work out about getting the cage fitted. So So the cage, I'm wanting to make that myself. Um, so getting the tube bender is the next step really, which I haven't got. Uh, I've looked at trying to make one, and to be honest, the, the type that I'd want to make, um, to buy one, you're talking about a thousand pound. There are cheaper versions, but just not very accurate in the way that they measure um, the tubes and give you the, the bends. So like I say, I was considering making one of the type that I want, I think, um, JD Squared, I think they're the, the company that I was looking at, or the type that I was looking at using. Um, but yeah, so I'm looking into that, so looking into trying to source or manage to uh, make a, a tube bender if it's possible. I'll have to buy the die that goes in it, and then everything else I can maybe uh, mock up and have them cut um, by um, a fabricating company who can just cut us the, the flat plates and I can make everything up myself. But um, I'll maybe stick a picture in here of the type that I'm looking at or trying to buy. Um, or make. Right, anyway, yes, so. Uh, what's next? So that's a couple of um, little jobs done, or a good job done with the cage mount feet. That's them all uh, together. So I'm going to move on and just fix a couple of areas in the back. Um, a couple of little patches, there's one this side of the boot floor, and one just over that other side there. So we'll clean the boot floor off, and then what we'll do is we'll, we'll cut them out, and then um, put some new plate in. So we'll crack on with that now. Thank you. 
There we go. That's another good bit of graft done on the on the two hundred five. Uh, so massive thanks to everyone uh, for their support and comments and uh, the thumbs up that, I've, that you've given us. Um, if you've got any questions or anything, stick uh, a comment in below or if you enjoyed the episode, uh, let us know. Uh, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't uh, already, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Keep up with the, the track bar build and also the mini build. That's, that's ongoing as well. Um, but that's going to be it for this one. And uh, hopefully see you, see you all on the next one.